Hey guys, welcome to 70s Artus. In this video, I will show you how to make UGC items in Roblox. So the process of creating UGC items in Roblox isn't an easy feat. You should know how to actually 3D model items that you could actually upload into uh, the UGC program on Roblox. So to get you started, I would suggest you to first identify the tool that you'll be using to model your items. So to get you started, I usually recommend using Blender for this one since Blender is actually a free tool that you could use and there's a lot of tutorials out there that you could uh, watch on how you could do of other things like 3D mo advanced 3D modeling and whatnot but you also have Maya which is actually a more advanced and a paid version for 3D modeling but yeah a lot of users or creators still use Blender to model their assets and yeah you could basically just use Blender for this one since you're just getting started so basically you just open up your Blender and in your Blender application, you should be able to start creating your assets. So I'll be showing you uh, some tools on how you could actually control Blender for this one. But I won't be showing you the whole thing because there's a lot of advanced steps on how to use Blender. But I'll be showing you the basics. So the first thing is you want to actually know how you could actually move around Blender. So when you actually click on your middle mouse, the scrolling button or the middle mouse of your uh, mouse is when it's actually how you rotate around your scene. So this is the scene, this is the work space that you're controlling right now. And we actually just scroll in, it's going to zoom in and sc scroll out. It's going to zoom out from that scene here. So as you, as you can see, there's an intersecting green and red line here. There's the X and Y axis. So it's gonna be really important later on. I'll be showing you how you could actually move items around this one. So yeah, now you know how to uh, rotate around the scene move around and whatnot so when actually just hold on shift and on your middle mouse you'll be able to move left and right or up and down into your scene and not rotate or rotate around it but if you let go of shift it's going to work as it usually does on your uh, scene here so yeah so it's for you to start adding your mesh or your items or start sculpting your items you could just hit on control a on your keyboard and you'll be see you will be able to see all of the items that you can actually add so we have mesh curves surface mipple text volume grease pencil and a lot more here you can also add images if you want but for this example we're just going to add a monkey as an example so let's just add this monkey here and as you can see this is the monkey that we just added and as you can see there's like up uh, faces here so when we switch over to edit mode, you'll be able to see all of the vertices and the faces and the edges for this specific monkey. So as we all know, if you're making a model on a specific item for a UGC, for the UGC program, you should uh, also be in aware that there's actually a 1200 vertices or the points on your model and a 4000 triangles limit on your model so you have to make sure that your vertices is actually around just 1200 so this actually that's actually a low poly model so make sure that you don't go past those vertices or triangles requirements and also your texture should be around 256 by, by 256 pixels in png format and yeah so that's one of the things that you should remember for this one so let's say, for example, you've already started modeling your, your uh, item here. You started adding textures or editing the asset itself or the model itself. Once you're satisfied and complete, we now want to actually export this one or import it into our Roblox Studio. So how do you do that? You could actually just click on the file at the top left of your screen. And from here, you just need to click on export. And from here, we have two ways of actually uploading this one. You could actually use a that an that obg file here or a that fbx file here. So if you could either use either of this type of items or files here, but yeah, I prefer using the fbx for this one. 
and from here it's going to ask you where you want to save your uh, file so choose anywhere that you, you could actually easily access it so i'm going to save this on my desktop and just click on export fbx and when we actually exit this one you'll be able to see my file here it is the untitled file that fbx and we want to start uh, transferring this into our roblox studio so here in our roblox studio we want to add our model so just click on import 3d and from here you'll be able to see your that fbx file here so just go to the location and you'll be able to see that and just choose this one and just click on open so the default settings here it's actually really good you just need to click on import and just wait for us to import our item as you can see it's going to be successfully imported and this is our model this is the monkey that we just recently created as you can see uh, it's the same thing that we have here just imported into Roblox Studio and from here Roblox Studio you could actually just change the materials like for example you go to material manager here so for example I want to uh, do the texture for this one like for example ice it's gonna click on the top right of it apply it to select the uh, parts it's going to have that ice texture to it and yeah so that's how you basically uh, transport from a 3d application or 3d modeling application to your roblox studio so it's actually pretty easy though the hardest part for this one is actually knowing how to, you could actually model your uh, assets on the chosen application that you want so blender is the most accessible one but if you want to know maya with since maya is actually the industry standard right now but but you could also learn blender for this one there's still a lot of creators using blender but yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you can use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video